Hello, this is Aaron Vivial from Texas Kettlebell Academy and Kettlebell Kings. And I'm here with Cameron Bertrand, who is a uh, master sport and a national record holder in his weight class for long cycle. And we're going to talk to you about the warm-up we're going to be using for the beginner's long cycle program through Kettlebell Kings. So, uh, the program calls for two weights to warm up with. You're going to do uh, the set of movements that we're about to show you. Uh, all the way through switching hands without putting the bell down. You'll start with the 12 kilogram bell and then when you're finished, put it down, take a breather, come back and you do the same thing with the 16 kilogram bell. Once you do that, same thing, shake it out, take a couple breaths, grab two bells and you're gonna do five reps. Put those down and then come back and do five more reps. And that's the basic warm up you're gonna do before all these trainings. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, we start with five half swings. So the half swing is letting you, let, basically letting the bell come forward off the body before you stand up. So we want the bell to do all the work as opposed to just pulling it low. So we're just setting up that pattern with the half swing. So he does five each side. And then he's gonna move to the one arm cleans. So now he's gonna do the swing and then get underneath of it for the clean. So he's going to do five each side of the clean. So he still wants to continue that half swing, letting the bell go off the body, and then standing up as the acceleration pull. So on the cleans, we want to catch bent legged just a little bit, and then drop bent legged as well. So after this, he'll do uh, some one arm jerks. So the big th detail here is you lock the elbow, breathe, and stomp the foot all at the same time. So he's not trying to lift the weight, he's trying to fall under the weight. So during these, you can uh, also stretch out the shoulder. So as he stands up, go ahead and like, kind of move it around a little bit, like move back behind the ear. So if he needs to, you can kind of stretch up and stretch out of his warm up to get a little bit of movement in there, uh, just during the warm up. And then once he's a little more fluid, he won't be pausing at the bottom. Right now, he's just kind of warming up and making sure he gets his depth. But he wants to stand up fairly quick from the uh, under squat. So now he's going to move to five one arm long cycle which is the clean and jerk. Make sure you're breathing. Good. So it'll do five each side. See, his technique's gotten more fluid as he's warmed up. So the importance of the warm-up is that it's your diagnostic before you train. So you should already be warmed up through mobility, do a little cardio, maybe a little bit of running or rowing beforehand. Uh, your mobility, you know, uh, no weight, just sort of going through it and uh, warming up the joints. And then you start your loaded warm-up. Loaded warm-up, like I said, is diagnostic. It's basically going to let you know if you're injured, let you know how you're doing for the day. It's going to let you know if you're going to complete the training or if you need more time for the warm-up. All right, so now he's going to grab two bells, and he's going to complete his five reps. So the idea is the five reps, generally if you're working a uh, higher pace, that five reps should be about 30, 40 seconds. He's going to shake it out, take a couple exhales. So uh, panting doesn't do much for us with heart rate. That, so we want to make sure when we get into that, we just go 
a couple big exhales, and it'll lower the heart rate immediately. So if you're still not feeling it, you can also kind of massage heat up with friction some of these areas, and this will also give you a little bit of an actual warm-up in here. All right, five more reps. So now he would be considered warmed up because that's a 16 kilogram weight. So from here, he would let his heart rate come down, he would uh, relax a little bit, then he would start his main workout, the training. All right, thank you guys.